You ready for the tour? The last day of the mini tour? <laughs> Scouting tour? Do I look ready? You look so ready. Glory. I went I went with the arid pants today as well. Because I got hot yesterday. Really strange. Oh, you oh you got this the unzipped pants too. Really strange. Alrighty y'all, it's the last day of the uh, the old exploratory mission tour, trying to find where these bass are gonna be bedding here on the full moon. We're still got that new moon action that happened today. We're about eight percent uh, new moon. So it's almost full new moon. Is that right? Full new moon? Oh, no. I don't know if that made sense or not. I'll try a whole nother lake today. Interesting mission to see if those bass are doing the same thing. I hope not. I hope there's big old females just covered on the bank. I've got two. A little worn down. Staying in hotel rooms, you know. But we got the Bassmaster Classic coming up. And uh, this has been a good I won't be there. practice day. No, not You're not attending. fishing it? No, nope, not attending. Oh, I thought not I saw you on the, uh, the roster. We're running low on tackle and supplies. The truck is, um, well, that's what it looks like when you're when you're out there on the road, just trying to catch them bass. Just got a little, ran into a fence yesterday. First <laughs> fence post, there's definitely been some uh, some marks put on the trailer between Rob's bottom, bottoming out down here. I personally ran into a little metal fence post, <laughs> hit our first good stump. We're breaking the old silver bullet in. Now I'm teetering y'all right now on this trolling motor. <laughs> Looks like you're agreeing with me, yes. When you're on the tour, you gotta bring big, big loads of everything, because you never know what you're gonna run out of. I've got myself a full tub of swimmers. That's how we like to do it when we're traveling. Oh, here's some juicy ones. You got any chatterbaits? Yeah, I went and bought myself a $20 chatterbait. I'm gonna see if I can lose it today. <laughs> Give it to Rob, throw it in a brush pile. <laughs> Two casts. That'll be gone. Hey, I like to share everything though. Because I know one day I'm going to be in a situation where I need it. I think this little swim bait's probably going to hurt their. Little crappie rig? I've heard they're, uh, they're feeding up on on fry. So I got, I got one of these ready to go. This on a little drop shot in a bed. If you got one that's being finicky, oh, Katie, bar the door. I think we're ready for our last day. This is going to be interesting. You get a little crazy on the last day of the exploration here. <sighs> okay. It's today the day, Matt. I feel it. I feel it. Today is the day. Okay, well there we go. Another Lunkers dunk. Exhaust underwater. I'm guessing one of the questions you guys may ask is uh, when you go to a new lake, like where do you know where to go? Uh, where do you start? That's a good question. I try to look at the time of year, which this time of year we're looking at spring, fish getting ready to spawn. Water's 60 degrees right now. It's probably gonna go up a little bit. So air temperature's still colder. Looking at the areas that have uh, spawning bays, spawning pockets, and then fishing around the outside of those pockets and then going in. So wherever the main spawning pockets, calm areas, um, and then from there, you're just trying to look for a hard bottom, like actually areas that fish will spawn. And that's really what we're doing on this trip, mostly is trying to find those great spawning areas to come back to when the females are moving up. Right now, it's just kind of a, it's kind of a crapshoot if they're gonna be up there or not, just fishing around those areas. So, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go look for some pockets here. Look at this, here, let me see that. Look at this. Look at that mud line, guys. Oh, my lands. Look at that. So it's so shallow here. Exploratory mission. Shallows. These fish have got to be on, like, right on the bank. Okay, I'm going to go relieve myself. No question. Um, something that's going to put out some water dispersion, you know. A spinner bait with some thumpage. A chatter bait. Maybe a square bill that's got some little rattlies in it. That's kind of what I'm thinking right now. These fish are probably going to be right up on the bank. 62 degree water. It's muddy. Um, that's kind of what I'm thinking, initial thoughts. Okay, hopefully that works out. If not, it's adapt and overcome, right? Right. Hey, this is fun. There we go. Mixing it up, mixing it up. Oh gosh. Whoa, good fish. Good fish. That's a great fish. That's a great fish, great fish. Want me to grab him? Yeah. 
There he's fat. That's what we're looking for. Okay. A little, little bit of chatterbait action. <laughs> All right, you two. No chesty. Going no chesty today. Just catching big ones. Check out my channel for more. Yeah, I'll, I'll link it down <laughs> below. <laughs> Jesus. That's great. Oh, okay. All right. Well, concerned here about this lake for a minute, but hey, starting off with a two and a half and a five, just within probably first 30 casts. Nothing to complain about there. And they seem to be like right on the bank. Got shad here. Okay, put myself a little yellow trailer on after that nice little fatty. Had, had a couple missed bites. Yep, got him in the oh. dirt. Got him in the dirt. Look at that. Dirt kicking up. This is like dirt, dirt shallow bass fishing. Oh my gosh, good one too. Another good one. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay. That, might, that, that come off that same little area. Uh, yeah. He hit it right at the boat. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> He's in the boat. It matters. Catching the uh, the old pad, the old pad material on my spinnerbait too. That's a phenomenal place for that chatterbait. Right we might catch a big one, boys. I wouldn't. It wouldn't be pad. I would not shock me if we jacked one. Mm, just had one chasing. Stuff. Oh my gosh! Did you see the shad come out of the water on that cast? I casted and like ten shad just came out of the water. Got one. Oh, good one. Oh gosh, that's a good one, dude. That is a big one. Jeez, what is going on here? This is what is this? This is big bass, son. Huh? This is big bass lake. Flip him, flip. Him. Oh, flip him. Yeah, I'll grab him. Oh, that's that's a nice five or six. <laughs> you think that fish is pre-spawn? I don't know. I would count that as a pre-spawn fish. <laughs> what do you think? It's a good-looking fish. Uh, do you want your fish? Yeah, I want my fish. Heck yeah, dude. It's a nice fish. Don't hold him up too high now. Old Bill, he's going. <laughs> <laughs> Old Bill's like, hey, hey, hey. That fish is 100% ready to get that is it pre -spawn, done. Free spawn, free spawn, spawn. Okay. okay. Well. Dang it. I was yeah. going to say, let's turn around, but well. There you go. Yes. Good fish. Don't worry, guys. I'll handle all the giants. Don't worry. Look how freaking. <laughs> Just These fish are them, tanks, dude. They're freaking fat. There's a chance that a double. I think an eight's gonna happen. I think an eight, <laughs> think an eight could happen. I think there's a chance for uh, a giant. I really, yeah. Uh... We're in the right. Okay. Yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and say, if you catch one on that craw under here, it's gonna be good, because that means we can just go. Over there, and just do it. Just give it a full go. Oh, golly! Under the dock, oh. and it's a toad. Oh, toads! I think I bottom bottom jawed him. I did. Yeah, you wanted that little spinner bait, didn't you? Oh, nice little toad right there. That is a pre spawn fatty. Woo! Love you. 2.4. That's plenty. These cypress have to have a little bit of water to grow. Got him right away. That might be a decent one. It might be a decent one. Oh yeah. Okay. Wow. Wow. There was like a five. Little cypress trees. Well, if that answers your question. Are there any fish back here? Just right over there at that point. Oh, 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 come up here, come up here. Oh my gosh, it is a giant. That's a giant fish. It's a big one. He's on the backside. I can see him. 
He's right there. He's coming through. He came through. Oh, it's a big one. Oh my. Give me your face. Oh my God. <laughs> what a mess. What a mess. <laughs> Woo! What a mess. I don't know how you got that in. How did that? I don't that, know how you got that. That could in. have been the craziest fish catch of my bass fish like ever. Yeah. That is no way. How that got through oh. with that line? Oh. I have no idea. <laughs> oh my god. That should have never happened. Oh, we came to a new lake. We put our heads together and uh, ladies and gentlemen, that is what we call a giant bang. And my, my chatterbait was just swimming sideways sideways and he fully took it into his throat. And uh, that was just on a random bank. So, hey, it's not quite an eight, but it's, I love it. Thank you. Chatterbait swimmer combo for you. Boys, that was good. We needed to break the silence. I will tell you this much, guys. When fish are biting a chatterbait and a spinnerbait, mm, I pretty much don't want to throw anything else. If they're big ones and they're eating, hmm, you just got to get in there and throw it. Even if it's the middle of the day. This is the only time of year where I like to do it. You get big ones during the middle of the day on a spinnerbait and a chatterbait. Oh, time to call it a good old day. It's time to send it on back to the house and end this exploratory mission on a new lake. Three lakes for you guys. We'll check in with you back at the house. Gotta go back and see old OSG, see how she's doing. But I think we can call today pretty good. It's time to part ways. My boy Lunkers. First. It's gonna get good. It's gonna get good. It's gotta get good. We gotta catch 12s. Woo! Well guys, after a long night of driving, we're finally back in the bass cave. Made it back from the terror, the new moon scouting tour in East Texas with Lunkers TV. Awesome time, awesome time. One thing I am missing right now is some OSG though. I know she's upstairs and I really wanna go say hi to her and I'm gonna take you guys along with me. So let's go see how OSG's doing. I'm bringing the fishing freaks. What? I'm bringing them up. Hey guys. Don't sound too excited. I feel like I haven't seen them in so long. <laughs> I haven't seen you in so long. They haven't. How are we doing? It's been a long time. How are you? I'm good. Right, there's a wasp on the floor. Ooh. I don't really don't want to kick it with my foot. Man, Let's take guy. Mr. Bass. Mr. Bass has been with us too long. No. I've been gone for how many days? Out on the terror. Uh, five. Five days. It's been a whole week. How did you? How did you feel? Because I feel like a lot of the men and women out there probably want to know <laughs> what's it like. When, when LFG tour. is just gone for four or five days fishing. I kind of I kind of set this up earlier in the year and I was like, babe, spawn this year. I was going to say, that's the way I, to do it because you kind of... Um... Actually, like probably a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, you did. It was probably about like four months ago. You're like, by the way, this is going to happen. I'm going to be gone for a full week. Mm -hmm. So you played me. I didn't, I didn't play <laughs> you and all is good. It's all is good. Hey, I do have something for you. You do? Yeah. What is it? That I feel like you need to unbox on camera. From you? It's from me, but it's really from all the fishing freaks. Really? Yeah. Well, go get it. Before I give it to you, let me just okay. set it up for Long a Long precursor. Okay, so it was supposed- I feel like this light's weird. It is a little bit Let's weird. Let's get this lamp. Get some filler light. There we go. Okay. So it was supposed to so be- so beautiful, babe. Oh, thanks. I love you. I love you too. You're so sweet. <laughs> so it was supposed to be a Christmas gift for you, but Christmas was kind of weird this year because we were moving. It's been a whole entire weird year. <laughs> so Still things continues to be things weird. Things were just happening, and I didn't get it done. I think your fishing freaks will enjoy this. All right, I have no idea what this is. I really have no clue. Okay, so there's just a bunch of stuff in there, but this is the main thing that's that's yours. Oh. oh, no way. Yes. This is a scrapbook so of all I the fishing freaks. I literally took all the stuff that your fishing freaks have been sending you. What? And like photos and notes and drawings. Because we keep getting so many of these that I just don't want to like put them in a box and never be seen. So I oh feel my like gosh. they need to be shown. 
babe, this is awesome. This is freaking awesome. Oh my gosh. I had no idea you were doing this. But it took a while to put it all together because there's just... Whoa, there's so there's much in so here. There's so much. And the box is still Holy filled. Holy cow. Wow. Wow. Well, first of all, you're <laughs> awesome. Thank you. And uh, second of all, this could not be done without you guys. Yeah. So, so it's really a gift from y'all. Woo! Well, that's what I like to come home to, y'all. Uh, <laughs> only thing better could be some chocolate chip cookies, maybe. Maybe. Maybe if I have my own kitchen. Maybe. So. Probably should get you one of those <laughs> first. <laughs> well, that was a pleasant surprise coming home to OSG, and uh, she had a surprise for me, and it had to do with all you guys sitting in such awesome stuff. And uh, that just gave me some recharge, you know. It is hard going out and, uh, and doing these videos for uh, for a long time, being away from family and, and just coming home. Finding that balance with, with Stephanie, um, it is, uh, it's been kind of challenging with not having a house, not having a house of our own to, uh, to really come home to. And uh, so thank you guys for all of your continued support. We will eventually get a house. We're gonna reopen that P.O. box again and get it rocking and rolling. It is time for you to subscribe to the channel. So go ahead and just hit that subscription button. Free and easy, guaranteed good times. Y'all, I hope you enjoyed this little series. We got another one coming at you with the full moon coming around the corner. And me and Lunkers are going to be doing some little bit of a contest. You may want to pay attention to t-shirt contests. Come down and fish with us both. Uh, hopefully during the spawn, maybe post spawn. But just come down and fish with us. I'll see you guys on the next adventure. Later. Oh, my God.